everyone, it's June and welcome back to my channel. And today's video, we are going to be talking about reasons why we have hair loss. And I would appreciate that at the end of the video, if you can just leave your advice or just throw in your two cents and maybe help uh, some of my viewers who just maybe need some guidance. So I appreciate it. So just keep watching, please. Welcome back. Okay, so I am going to name some reasons for hair loss. Now, I know my reason for hair loss, but there could be other reasons as well. Like, I know that I lost my hair due to vitamin deficiency and then ending up getting squamous cell carcinoma, but could there be something else that is causing my hair not to grow completely fully back? Like, is there a vitamin that I need that I'm being... Um, that I have a deficiency of or too much of. So I'm going to read um, the reasons for hair loss. And if you fall into any of these categories, please write down below, because I'm sure I can help a subscriber that's watching, a viewer that is watching. So let's go through. Uh, physical stress. I'm sure a lot of us have physical stress in our lives. Um, pregnancy, that's what happened with me. Too much vitamin A. I have to look into that because I, I feel like um, they say a lot of medications have vitamin A in it and that causes um, hair loss. So do we really know what's in our medications? Hmm. Or maybe the food we're eating, does it have too much vitamin A? Uh, lack of protein. You know, some diets lack protein. That could be a reason as well. Male power, pat, nah, male pattern baldness. Now, I know when you know you have male pattern baldness, oh, I'm just all like, <laughs> when you have the M, that's male pattern baldness. Um, okay, so heredity, 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 yes. Um, I know that I have that as well because I have some women in my family who have very thin hair, so that's why I had it. Um, female hormones, pregnancy hormones, all that, um, emotional stress. I know we all have emotional stress. So these are things that can be reversed. You know that, right? There are some things that can't be reversed. Um, anemia, which is an iron deficiency. Do you fall into that category? Hypothyroidism, which I knew that. Vitamin B deficiency. There is autoimmune related hair loss. Um, yeah, which is uh, alopecia, alopecia. There is lupus, lupus, um, yeah. There's lupus, there's dramatic weight loss. I fall into that category. I lost a lot of weight. I lost 55 pounds in five weeks and I lost so much hair, yes. Um, chemotherapy, polycystic ovary syndrome. My daughter has that. Luckily, her hair has not thinned out. Hopefully it stays that way. Um, antidepressant, blood thinners, and more. So research your medication because that could be a reason for your hair loss. Um, over styling. Remember when our parents used to say, don't wear the hat all the time. Stop putting your hair in a ponytail. Stop using the hair irons. We should have listened to that. Um, but that can be reversed. Um, trichotillomania, I hope I'm saying that right. Now that I know is a form of a tick. That's something that you can't help. My daughter has a tick, but it's not the hair pulling. It's basically, she has like the, she has these blinks. She blinks so hard. And, you know, before I did research on that, um, I used to say to her all the time, stop blinking like that. Just relax. Relax your body. And she would tell me, I can't stop. So this trichotillomania, like you can't tell somebody, stop pulling out your hair. Why would you want to pull out your hair? It's a tick. And it's something that can be reversed if you take... I guess antidepressants, which cause hair loss as well, but um, behavioral modification therapy is another option. Um, aging, we're all aging, right? Except for me, I'm not aging, am I? No, no I'm gonna be 50. I am aging. <laughs> so that's why I find it so, so like, 
dire to try to regrow my hair, you know? Because as you get older, your hair starts shedding and it doesn't come back. It's not good. Although I've seen older women, like I'm talking about older women that have just beautiful luscious hair, like lustrous. <laughs> anabolic steroids. If you take anabolic steroids, you know, pump up, stop taking them because your hair's going to fall out. And uh, yeah, and there are other, other reasons why. If you have another reason why, like, what, like, do you know why your hair is falling out or fell out? Do you know why? Is it hereditary? Are you taking too much vitamin A or is there another reason? Um, like, I was looking under anemia. Like, I do research all the time. Now, when I go to my doctor and I take a blood test, I'm automatically thinking, well, he's testing for everything. That's not true. That's not true. When we come out of the doctor's office and, you know, we don't get the call from them, we assume everything is okay. But they are not checking for things that we may have symptoms of, like, you know, like fatigue or, you know, cold hands of feet. That's a sign of anemia. Do you tell your doctor, and, and do you tell your doctor, hi, can you test me? Uh, maybe I'm anemic, <coughs> excuse me, or does your doctor automatically do that? So there are things that can be just like, the doctor is overseeing, you know what I'm saying? So if you have any symptoms of anything, I mean research, any symptoms of anything, go to your doctor and tell them, tell him her your symptoms and maybe they can test for that particular disease or, you know, whatever it is, anemia, diabetes, anything. Um, so I would appreciate if you are going through hair loss as most of my viewers are, please leave down below the reason why. Like, if, do you find out the reason why? Or maybe this video made you think and say, hey, let me look at my medication, you know, and let me see if it has so much vitamin A. Maybe I need to lower the dose or something like that. But there's a reason for everything, and we need to find out our reason for hair loss. I know my, my reason, and I hope you find out your hair reason, your hair reason. I find out... I hope you find out the reason why you're losing your hair and maybe we can just stop it all together, correct it and get that hair back. So um, I hope this video has helped you. Please comment, please like this video, share it with somebody. If uh, you're not going through hair loss, maybe somebody else is, maybe this can just like open up their eyes and maybe have them ask their doctor um, to do certain tests and that's it. So. Um, Anyway, thank you for staying with me through this video and do your research, please. And like I said, let me know what's going on with you. I would like to hear how you corrected your hair thinness or are you still searching or whatever. Okay, so thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye.